answering the daily question, what are my intentions for the day? The patterns that have emerged from all of this are mainly personal characteristics. So one day will be, I intend to be kind today, or another day it'll be, I intend to be more patient. These values and virtues also influences the direction in which my life is going. The intention is almost always driven by the virtue or the value that I'm trying to practice in my life. Now, other people may be driven by other intentions, which is all well and good for them. As I've reflected on the last two weeks, it's become very clear to me that the involvement of these intentions actually also influences who I interact with. And if there is any discrepancy in the intention I've set for the day with the interaction that I've had, it makes me think about why that interaction wasn't in line with the intentions that I set. This has then led me back to a book that I read a couple of years ago on boundaries and safe people by Dr. Cloud. That had a huge impact on my life. I crave safe relationships in the same way that I have to be a safe person myself if I want to attract equally safe people. Boundary setting is very important when it comes to establishing the ground rules for relationships. But again, almost all of that starts with setting clear boundaries with yourself. How I answer the question, what is your story when I am asked that by other people? I've never been able to sum up my life into a bottom line and I don't think that I would ever want to do that. You know that bad taste in my mouth that question leaves me with is really because intentionality with which I live my life is writing the narrative for my life and so I don't want to trust that with someone that I feel isn't necessarily safe. However, at the same time, the caveat is I don't want to write off every single relationship that I've deemed unsafe as something that will never change because we're all about change here. We're all about growth. What this exercise has taught me so far is that bringing awareness to areas in my life that need to grow and change a bit more is an opportunity to practice compassion, starting with myself and then extending that to other people. And it's so cool. I'm no longer stressed out about what the outcome is because I'm more focused on what I can learn from what is in front of me. So I feel like this week is full of breakthroughs and it's only Tuesday. Anyway, thanks for being here and shout out to my mom for promoting this channel. Really grateful that she believes in my voice and the things that I have to say. And I don't think I would get to this point if it wasn't for her and my dad's unconditional love and support. So thanks mom. See y'all tomorrow because Mittal.